Welcome to this week's episode of Your Stock Request for the 29th of August. Hi, I'm Michael Gable, Managing Director of Fairmont Equities. Your Stock Request is a weekly video where I take your requests and analyse the share price charts. This week we have Silver Lake, Mineral Resources, Cube Logistics, Helios and New Farm. So if you have a request, please email it through to me. Um, make sure you have signed up to our free newsletter. Make sure you're sharing this video on social media. And just remember any advice is general only. So starting off with Silver Lake, um, we could see it's pulled back from the recent highs. In the last few days, it looks like it's tried to rally, but what's now becoming evident is that it's starting to, it's finding some resistance at $1.20. So it's starting to turn around at that, that previous low, um, which is not a good sign. It implies that we may well see it pull back further um, and take out this low. So now starting to look a bit negative um, in the short term, longer term, the, the trend still looks okay. Uh, mineral resources, so, so this is the daily chart, zooming in. So peak in February, um, but we could see that it's been making lower highs and of course lower lows. Uh, the area around $14 was obviously strong support for it, but that's been that's been breached. So that's quite a negative for the stock. Um, the last line of support is this November low. So we're clearly we're going to test that um, based on current price action. I think there's a good chance it'll break it. We need to wait to see if that happens first, but um, at the moment, not looking good for mineral resources. Cube, so we'll move that to a weekly chart. Um, so we've had this this uh, this ascending triangle develop over a number of number of years, um, finally got a breakout after a lengthy consolidation. So that's a bullish sign. Um, most recently, so if I zoom in a bit, most recently we've seen a sort of a retest of that breakout um, before the stock launched higher again last week. So yeah, good sign. I think it'll just consolidate um, up here, and I think in any sort of at the moment, the overall market looks weak, so any sort of pullback ideally needs to be contained above $3. But I think beyond that, um, we may well see a multi-month rally in Cube. Helios, um, so on this weekly chart, we could see from the, since the start of the year, it's been trading pretty well. So a nice sort of impulsive move up, corrective decline, nice move up again. So higher highs, higher lows, um, nothing wrong with the way that's trading. Um, as we could see, it's made a run up to the old high. Um, so as we could see on the daily chart, so a nice impulsive move up. So it's back to this this previous peak. So it's not necessarily a buy because you'd naturally get some resistance here. You either wait for a breakout or wait for a pullback. Um, but I think that if, uh, uh, you know, even if it does pull back, just based on this sort of price action, um, I think we'll we'll see it eventually overtake that previous high. Okay, and New Farm. So if we have a look at this daily chart, um, sort of a bit disappointing here in early August where it just couldn't kick on, um, but generally it's still been trading okay. Uh, during this pullback, we could see it held on to that, um, that sort of prior low. So it's pulled back to that low. I could, the fact that it's sort of started to bottom out here is um, quite interesting. And then we've, you know, we've seen a nice move up yesterday. So it looks like it's getting ready to, to head higher again. I guess ultimately, um, you know, I think this sort of 460 level is where there'll be some obvious resistance. So I think if we see a, a nice push through that in the next couple of days, that would be a positive sign. And that would make me, um, make me confident that New Farm will head higher and take out this um, this high from the beginning of uh, beginning of the month. All right, well that's it for this week. Um, please send me a request. I'll try to cover it next week for you.